and they're off in the Coolmore Turf Mile. There goes Carl Spackler from the outside. Carl Spackler kicks in, goes right to the lead, starts to clear the inside traffic. Spirit of St. Louis will move forward toward the outside into the second position, into the first turn. Noise is off between horses. Talk of the Nation moves by that one, now up into second alongside of leader Carl Spackler. Spirit of St. Louis, wide third around the first turn. Running B, back toward the inside is fourth. Noise is off is fifth between horses. Cash Equity, a wide sixth. Mountain Bear, seventh. Kakuli is eighth. More than looks is last of the nine. The opening quarter in 23 points. 0.93 seconds back up front. Carl Spackler, the leader. Carl Spackler leads it by a half length. Talk of the nation, second by two lengths. Spirit of St. Louis, third up on the outside by just a neck. Running B is fourth down toward the inside. Noises off. Mountain Bear, who moves up into fifth, five lengths off the lead toward the rail. Cash Equity, then Kakuli. And more than looks is still last. It was 47.28 seconds, the time for the first half mile. On to the final turn they go. Carl Spackler shows the way. Still leads it. Now the lead's out to a length and a half. Spirit of St. Louis has to go wide, and Running B moves up the inside. A quarter mile to go. Running B to second. Spirit of St. Louis to third. Carl Spackler has the lead. Carl Spackler in front, and here comes Spirit of St. Louis on the outside. Running B toward the inside, then Talk of the Nation. Mountain Bear is a wide fifth, and Carl Spackler, it looked for just a moment that they were bearing down on him. Now he hits another gear. He's got the lead back out to three and a half. More than looks is coming stoutly late but here's the wire Carl Spackler wins the Coolmore Turf Mile by a diminishing length on the line in 1 minute 34.23 seconds The official winner of Keeneland's 10th and featured race 39th running of the Coolmore Turf Mile Grade 1 number 9 Carl Spackler Owned by E5 Racing Thoroughbreds of Robert Edwards Jr. Trained by Chad Brown for his second stakes winner on the day here at Keeneland. And three victories, including back-to-back -back stakes wins on the card for Tyler Gaffalione. Lope de Vega, the sire of this four-year-old colt out of Zendaya by More Than Ready. Bred in Ireland by Fifth Avenue Bloodstock. One minute, 34.23 seconds for the one mile over the firm turf. Trophy presentation for the Coolmore Turf Mile, a win and you're in Breeders' Cup Mile Division race, presenting the trophy on behalf of Coolmore, Dermot Ryan, to the connections of Carl Spackler. Well, Carl Spackler keeps the grade one wins coming at Saratoga in the four-star Dave, and today in the Coolmore Turf Mile. And Tyler, you wasted no time. Tyler Gaffleone, winning rider, wasted no time taking this race over. Was it because of the outside draw that forced your hand to, to go from that outside post? You know, my horse broke alertly, and I looked to the inside. Nobody was really in any hurry to get going forward, and I didn't want to take too much away from my horse, so I just put my hands down and let him get comfortable, and uh, he proved he was best today. Uh, he's a tremendous athlete. Uh, the Cinderella story continues. <laughs> Well done on the quote. As we know, he's named for her character in Caddyshack, Carl Spackler. But the rest of the race and getting him to relax and, and getting him to, to have the kind of finish, how did everything else go for you on the front end? You know, all the credit goes to Chad and his team. They bring these horses over ready to run. They're so kind. Uh, they listen to the cues of the jockeys. And uh, like I said, he did everything I asked him, and he really turned it on. Well done. Thanks so much. Carl Spackler picks up another grade one and giving Chad Brown a win in the grade one at Coolmore Turf Mile for the E5 Thoroughbreds.